Do you want to talk about this format change, which is uh, very new to something that was so established for so long in our minds? And I want to read the words of your, your Six Nations sparring partner in studio, Matty Williams, in the paper this morning, uh, Shane. The round of 16 has destroyed integrity of competitive Champions Cup, is the headline. All but emasculated this once great tournament by radically changing the format. I mean, I wish he'd give us his honest opinion. And get off the fence. You know? well, the, the what do you time, think? The one time Matt is in the studio here, he, he, he <laughs> he's is here. In the studio. He's yeah. here. Put out his fire. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I disagree with him on it. Actually, I think it's been a tricky couple of years, and I don't think the EPCR has established themselves um, their format properly over that time. Mm. Um, but it's been a difficult, particularly difficult couple of years because of COVID. And if you look at the you know, teams that have got through to this stage of the tournament, there is a lot of really, sort of the aristocrats of, of European rugby are there, smattering of other teams. There's a lot of good fixtures. And I think ultimately, you'll get the best teams into the next round. So I kind of disagree with him on that. But um, And it's man, it, the format has allowed us to have four Irish teams set up. Now, two of them are playing against each other, unfortunately, mm. but four Irish teams in it. And whatever has gone on, prior to this stage of the competition and even um, especially before Christmas that's over now it doesn't matter you have to win at least four out of the uh, next five games in order to win the championship and that would be difficult for anyone um, What about the first leg second leg format Rob asking different players and, and listening to people around the week it's very, such a, a rare thing very few have been involved in it bit of World Cup qualifying, I think the championship playoffs in England uh, in the past um, how do you expect it to kind of influence the way these, these ties will go? Yeah, it's, it's very new, isn't it? And you know, it's, it's the first time that a lot of these players will have been exposed to such a format. But, you know, back to Matt's point, it's easy to, you know, somewhat agree with them. But we also have to remember that the, the clubs and the unions aren't washed with cash at the moment, you know. So they need to do more to try and generate some revenues off the game. And I personally, I think this new format is really exciting. You know, you've, you've got... You've got a lot of talking points over the next five, six days because some of the weekend's action was was really strong. And we've had a little bit of an insight to it over the years with the home and away fixture. Um, but I think this new dimension really adds some excitement. And I think it works if the first game is tight. Mm. If it's a blowout in the first game, then you can see that it feels like a little bit of a dead rubber. But if we you know, speak about the match last night, Leinster versus Connacht, there's only five points in that. That game is still set up. Yes, you would expect you know, Leinster to, to win um, in the RDS at the, uh, you know, with home advantage. But... That was a closer game than many expected last night, and it, it will be sort of in the. As back Rob says, it, it sets up the sort of talk all week. There's a bit of buzz about it, which I guess, to be fair to the, the tournament organisers, is what uh, it's what they wanted.